I have returned from Haiti after three days, two nights, and then now I'm in Santa Domingo. Santa Domingo, it's one of the capital of uh, Dominican Republic, and very beautiful. It's totally opposite. first major european settlement in the new world it's believed that christopher columbus walked these streets it is also a spanish country people speak spanish here and then uh, these are the three heroes who built the uh, dominican republic and we have a fort very close to it and then it's very nice i will the centro or old town it's called in santa bingo there are many parks around the city of santo domingo One of the most popular parks are called Los Miradores which are located on various sections of the city. I mean the dependency here, yeah? and it is very nice marketplace, and then you can find so many arts and all. It's a nice place to walk on. in the city cathedral it's one of the oldest cathedral and it's been built during the columbus period you can just see the 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 architecture is more of european gothic type than the spanish
The city was surrounded by a defense wall extending from the Ozama River to the Puerta del Conde, which was the only entrance to the hinterland and the furthest boundary of the city until around the late 19th century. In the 17th century, it is known that the defensive wall was modified after the siege of Santo Domingo, led by William Penn and Robert Venables. Prior to the invasion, there was a fort at the site where the Puerta del Conde is today, Puerto San Gennaro. It is believed that the modifications that occurred after the siege involved the expansion of the wall to the fort, effectively creating a bastion, El Baluarte del Conde.
So there are a lot of tourist attractions around this place like the Alcazar de Colon, Calle El Conde, Colonial Zone, Colonial Buildings, Parque Colon, Cathedral, Alta de la Mat- Patria Ruinas de Fra- San Francisco, El Conde Gate. In these squares you can find lot of music and dance in the in this region in the late evening that's why it's called the night lives in latin americas are really nice 